Hello and welcome to Maker.io. In today's quick video, we're going to be looking at the ultrasonic module and why you should use it for object avoidance. Now, in a previous video, we looked at the antenna spring system whereby small feelers come out of a robot and then when it makes contact with a spring, which is housed inside, you can use that as a way of detecting objects like an insect would. But then we also realize this comes with a few issues. The first one is mechanical strength and strain. So over time, the antennas eventually weaken down and become broken, which is not really something that you want your robot to do. Secondly, the feelers can touch objects which may transfer their charge to the feelers and then therefore damage the inputs. So you have to use ESD protection. And thirdly, the feeler actually requires the robot to touch stuff which may not always be practical which is where the ultrasonic module comes in. Now, the ultrasonic module that we have here is like many other ones on the market, and they have four pins. They have a VDD pin for power and a ground pin for power, and they also have a trig and an echo pin. Now, the trig pin is used to initiate a ultrasonic pulse, whereas the echo pin is used to receive reflections. So when you send a pulse to the trig pin, it causes the module to send out an ultrasonic pulse, and then the echo pin stays high until it receives a reflection and you can use that length of time to determine how far an object is away from the module. Now, of course, ultrasonic modules do require that reflections can be received, but the majority of objects don't inhibit reflections. So on the whole, you can use these to detect most objects. Now, when you want to calculate the distance to an object and you use the distance equals speed times time formula, you have to keep in mind that the time is going to be divided by two because the signal has to get to the object and then back. So a lot of people who start out with these modules always argue and say that, why is it these things don't work because my distance is double than what it should be, but actually it's because they're not considered the fact that the signal goes to the object and then comes back. And hence, you've got to divide the time by two. Now, of course, there are different ways that you can mount these things. You could have multiple sensors going out on the robot, looking for things around it in fixed locations, or you could be a bit more clever and use a servo and have the thing sit on top, as you can see on this turntable, and have it rotate and make pulses out and produce a map. Of course, the one that rotates takes longer because you'll have to move it to a position, take a reading, come back, change, reading, come back. But fixed sensors does limit what you can see or your sort of field of vision. And of course, if you're going to have multiple of these, it's probably a good idea to try and shield them away from each other so that reflections from that one can't interfere with this one. So that is just a quick introduction as to why ultrasonic modules can be quite useful in object detection. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.